Welcome to our introduction to VBA, which stands for Visual Basic for Applications. In this segment, we'll be learning about what VBA is and what it can do for you as a CATIA engineer. Let's begin by selecting Tools from the main menu, Macro, and Visual Basic Editor. A dialog window appears asking if I'd like to create or open a VBA project. Let's click Yes. Now we'll create new library. We're going to look at this in greater detail later in this course, but for now, let's select Close. And now the Visual Basic Editor is open. Let's talk a little bit about Visual Basic. It's a Microsoft programming language. If you've never done programming before, this might seem a little intimidating, especially for beginners. The good news is that scripting in Visual Basic is actually quite simple once you get your mind around the basic concepts. After all, you're not so much doing raw programming here. It's more like you're manipulating objects. For this reason, a lot of hardcore programmers don't respect the basic language. Let's take a minute to talk about the basic language. This was developed back in the 1960s. It was a learning tool for programmers. In the 1990s, Microsoft released the first Visual Basic for Windows applications. Today, VBA doesn't have much in common with BASIC, but BASIC is indeed the foundation on which VBA was built. So, let's talk about what VBA can do for you as a CATIA engineer. Basically, it comes down to greater flexibility and greater control over your environment and your projects. You're able to create your own custom tools. That's just one example of what VBA lets you do in the CATIA environment. It's also worth mentioning that your knowledge of VBA can be applied in many other programs such as Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, and many other applications. During this course on VBA, I'll be using another abbreviation frequently, API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. And this concludes our introductory tutorial on VBA.